It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to another episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. The first episode was a triple and all the scores were 80, 80 and 287s. Then when we got to the single games, we got a 91. And then the next one was a 79. So can we do better this time? Let's find out. Frame one, ball one. the sound systems back up to full potential and we start with a nine and for those of you that like the pin setters here's the bull more in action and since pin cam is so hard to set up the ever so slight drift to the side I just let it live not worth the struggle and there you go frame two ball one it was nice while the silence and then the very low music was there now it's back to normal. Ball two. It's only been two frames, but so far, none of the first balls totally sucked. The good news, at least it's an eight. The bad news, it was a half Worcester shot. Ball three, I had the half Worcester that one, didn't I? The good thing is, the half Worcester didn't happen on the first ball, which usually ends in disaster. And we're getting the 8. So far, it's a pretty decent start. We got a 9 and 1, and an 8 and 2, for a total of 17. So far, it looks like things have got a little better. Frame 3, ball 1. Now I just need some tens and some marks, and then we can really make sure things have improved. Just a little too thin on the head pin, and that piece of wood did not have enough momentum to take down the five. Still not a bad ball. Unfortunately, it's still a split. Ball two. Tough spare, two, five, seven, and eight. Piece of wood that can help. Ball three. Good thing that was not ball one because that had spread eagle written all over it. Way too direct. Ouch. Seven. Frame four, ball one. Ball two, halfway to whistle. Come on, Lita. Are you going to play your sound system or not? Choose a side. Makes editing easier. Ball three. Looks like the train has derailed. How quickly can we put it back on the track? That's definitely not now. That's a five. Things have fallen apart. We got an okay seven and three and a terrible five and four. At least no stink frames yet. 29. Frame five, ball one. I just noticed the lane is technically too narrow. It's supposed to be at least 41 inches. It's 40. That's assuming each board is an inch wide, but 
If it's a little wider, then I'm wrong. Looks like things are back to normal. Ball two. And no, it doesn't affect performance. I just saw it. That is true. The extra half inch on both sides wouldn't really matter all that much. Ball three. Maybe a stink frame. If we're trying to put the train back on the track, a stink frame definitely is not going to help that. Too full on the head pin. At least it's a seven. Frame six, ball one. It wasn't the greatest, but the seven is definitely sort of a rebuild. Let's see if we can rebuild more. Perfect. Ball two. That happened. I got robbed. Is this Lita Lane's or is this Mason's? Sometimes you just can't tell. Ball three. Now we have to hit the hardest part, the middle. Just can't win. Seven. Looks like this is going to be a game of mediocrity and possibly the lowest of the set. A pair of sevens and five and six, we're only at 43. Frame seven ball one. I think we're going to sneak a new low for this particular series for August. Then again, we could still hit 90s, but then again, I'm also not expecting a Cinderella moment to happen anytime soon. Got one half of it down. Let's try and get the other half. It's harder than it looks. It's even harder when you miss everything. Call three. Could this be the stink frame? Threatened by yet another possible stink frame. Hopefully, that won't happen. Might not be a stinker, but it kind of sucks. It's a five. Frame 8 ball 1 is mediocrity, I think that's all we're getting. That's probably not going to be mediocrity either. For some reason, I'm not talking that loud to the camera. Pointing out, probably mediocrity if that. Much better. We are left with a new palace left. Ball 2, palace left. At that point, I was checking to make sure the camera was still on. I check them every now and then, just to be sure. No wood to help. Ball three. We'll throw this. I clear the gut. Trying to be fancy due to the automatic scoring. Hopefully this will work. Worst case, we just take the nine. Wasn't perfect. Probably would have just taken the nine anyway. Well... Started turning it on a little bit in the 8th frame with the 9, in spite of that weird instance there. And a lousy 5 and 7. 57. Mediocrity land. That's where we're heading. Frame 9, ball 1. At least that helped make the worst game of the series a little better. If I can mark and get a decent fill, we can pull out a mediocrity land and get into the 80s. Finally getting a little luck on my side. Not too bad. Ball two. A mark? <laughs> the things have been going? Probably not. This is the shot in the arm we definitely need. The far left piece of wood could barely help. Ball three. Hey, I told you. Maybe the next frame. This nine or possibly ten if we can get Bowling God's middle finger will definitely help. Ouch, yet again. But it's still a nine. Last frame, ball one. That many for mediocrity. Maybe we could mark. Okay, well, I'll stop laughing. We know that. The goal here is to at least hit mediocrity. We're pretty close to it. At least the finish will be strong. Ball two. Remember who's trying. The way things have gone in this game, it would take a miracle for a spare to happen. Wow, miracles can happen. 
Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. El Stinko the bonus ball ended. I didn't think it was gonna happen. The ball looked a little too far to one side. Will it pass to me? We need a mediocre four just to get into the 80s. Hopefully it happens. El Stinko lives up to its name with a goose egg. In spite of that zero fill, we kind of finished strong. Not as strong as I'd like, but still fairly strong. We at least midway through mediocrity with a 76. Considering how things were going, I'm surprised we even got to 76 anyway. So that's this episode of Watch Me Suck It Bowling from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. One more to go before we go somewhere else. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.